Hey what's up guys, Mashine here, come back with a brand new Nothing to a Knife, episode 3 of season 2, back with it. We've got a lot to go over today, first off though, we're starting at the inventory, and man, do we have a lot of value here. Just want you to just give me just a quick guess. Alright, our value is $150.80, $150, that's absolutely insane, that's a lot of money. We got 146 of that is coming from the skins we own and about $4.77 is money we have on the Steam market that we're going to use today. Hopefully hit a trade up and potentially a little bit more. We're also going to be selling a couple items on the Steam market today. But let's hop on into it. Over here on CSGO points, there's a lot to choose from, but I feel like we're for sure going to have to go with some cases. I think probably the Chroma 3 is going to be the best bet. We'd be able to get 49 of them and that's a lot. Otherwise, I, I was thinking about going with the Operation Wildfire cases here, but I feel like it's up by two points. It's a little bit more than I want to pay for that, and I feel like the Chroma 3 definitely has a lot more potential moving forward. I could see it going to maybe 11 or 12 cents, and if we got 49 of them, that's a pretty big increase. I can't see the Operation Wildfire getting that big of an increase. All right, after a long and painful bit there, we have sent in all of our requests here. That's a lot of them. Had to go through manually and click through every time, hoping that's something they can change in the future, but on to our next site. Over here on Collect Skins, they just did a complete remodel and it actually looks pretty nice. I've got about $7 worth of coins over here, but they do not really have their gift cards enabled yet. They've got their CSGO skins, but I was hoping to get a $5 gift card to somewhere. Maybe even Collect Cases open up a little bit on there or a Steam, one of those two. Neither of them are in stock right now, so we're probably just going to hold off on Collect Skins for now. We got a lot to do in this episode and we're not going to miss out too much. For our last site of the day then, we are over here on free skins and we've got about $7 in the balance as well. I'm probably going to go ahead and cash out this P2000 Amber Fade because if we head over here to the market, there's one listed for a little bit cheaper but otherwise it's going for around $620. We already got one of these in the inventory and I th I'm actually thinking about selling both of these then. I think that's going to leave us with a good amount of money on the Steam market. After probably the most painful experience I've ever had with one of these websites, we've got our P2000 here. I'd recommend not using free skins if you're going to use one of those sites. I'd try out the other two first because this took a while to get and everyone over there is just not helpful in the slightest. But we do have two amber fades now, which is extremely good. And we also have $4.77 on the Steam market. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to list these two amber fades up here on the Steam market. Right now it's going for roughly $6 a piece. I will keep the updated information for next episode when they actually sell. But we're not going to have enough time for them to sell today and to use that money for a trade up. But we do have $4.77 which I'm going to look for a trade up or two we can do. We might open one of the poorly drawn sticker capsules and try and pull an anomaly as well. All right, we're actually gonna do a trade up now. So I spent $1.42 on this one and that's because I had to overpay three cents in total for my safe house collection and field tested. But to do this, I just had seven of the 2018 Inferno collections with a float lower than 0.23 and then three of these safe house collections with a float of 0.26 or lower. Down to our outcomes, we've got a slight profit margin, not a ton to brag about, but we're mainly gonna be looking for that USP or that M4 Either way is going to be a decent amount of profit. We're going to break even on the sawed off and lose a little bit on the other outcomes. All right, I'm hoping we can really hit something here because this is all free and it'd be really nice if we're able to hit that M4 or that USP. Both of those are going to be some pretty decent profit, but let's see it. Oh, we're going to hit the SSG08 Acid Fade. It's just a slight loss coming in at like 10, 15 cents. You know, not terrible. It's got a low float, but all the Acid Fades do. Overall, not terrible. But let's go unbox some sticker capsules. All right, we're here with our three poorly drawn capsules, but I just want to give you a quick rundown. So we had $4.77 on the Steam Market. To do that trade up where we got the SSG08 Acid Fade, it cost me $1.42, then we were left with $3.35, and then we just spent $3.13 on these poorly drawn sticker capsules too, meaning we are moving over $0.22 cents into the next episode because there's not much we can do with that. 
plus we're going to have some money when we sell these two P2000s and the Acid Fade. We're going to sell all three of those so we can have a little bit more money next time. But without further ado, let's hop into our sticker capsules here. I'm hoping we can get Anomaly right here because this is a really cool sticker. Otherwise, I'm going to try and get a chicken. Any hollow is good though. Let's see, first one here we're going to get Mr. FBI Man. Not terrible, not great. Hope I'm really hoping we can get the chicken hollow, not only because it's the most extensive, expensive, but it looks good. Second one, we're going to get just a normal terrorist guy. Come on, man. We got our last sticker capsule here. I think this chicken actually looks like a really cool sticker, but let's hop on into it. Come on, man. Just give us a hollow here. That'd be awesome. Our last one's going to be, oh, there. I saw the, uh, the chicken hollow there, but we're just going to end up with the normal chicken here. For our three stickers there, we're going to get 94 cents back on the $3.13 we spent, which is not good. But I'll meet you guys at the inventory to wrap this episode up. Finally, back here at the inventory to wrap this one up. We did do a lot today, but we also lost a little bit. We had that trade up where we lost a slight bit there, and we lost over $2 on our stickers. Maybe not the best idea, but wrapping it up here, we came in with a total of about $150.80, and we're leaving today with a total of $150.89 in items. And then we also have $12.27 once our items sell on Steam. So that's going to leave us with a grand total of $163.16. It's a pretty decent amount, especially considering we didn't do anything with collect skins. But otherwise, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.